Hello everyone, welcome to Academy of Civil Service. So everywhere there is the hype of Brahmastra. I think some of you have even watched it, like the Astrovars, right? And some of you might be following the trend regarding boycott of Bollywood. But whatever is the case, let me ask you a question. Can you tell me what exactly Brahmastra is? Brahmastra has the capacity to actually destroy the entire universe. Coming to the perspective of Hindu mythology, we have seen several instances. Let us take the example of Mahabharat, where we have seen the conflict between Arjun and Ashwatthama regarding the uses of Brahmastra. So, coming back again to the question, what Brahmastra is? I think you have got the answer. It's a weapon which can cause mass destruction of the entire world. So, forgetting all those mythological things. Coming to today's context, if I ask you, what is Brahmastra today? Will you be able to tell me? Think of any weapon that can create a mass destruction. Yes, you are right. That's the nuclear weapon that we are using today. Nuclear weapon is the only weapon which has the utmost ability to destroy the entire thing and from the perspective of science and tech, nuclear technology, be it in civil, any civil service examination for your preparation, nuclear technology, nuclear science is very important from exam point of view. If I directly come to the point of today's context, what is happening in and around us today, then instantly our mind goes to the Russia-Ukraine war and I think you all have got the news in which there is the shelling of the area in which Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is being located. And both the countries, Russia and Ukraine, both of them are blaming each other for the shelling of that area. Now, this is the reason for which the entire Zaporizhia nuclear power plant has been stopped. Imagine all the military invasion from both the hands, be it the Ukrainian military or the Russian military, if they are shelling in that area, if any kind of war is taking place, then what will happen to the nuclear power plant? Right? We all have seen the mass destruction that can be caused by the nuclear power. We all have instances of the Chernobyl disaster or the Fukushima disaster which we can never forget in our life. So definitely you have understood the negative impact that can be created by a nuclear power plant. Now what is the significance of Zaporizhia nuclear power plant? Do you know that Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is Europe's largest nuclear power plant? If it's the Europe's largest nuclear power plant, what is the function of a nuclear power plant? The function of a nuclear power plant is to provide clean source of energy to the people. Today is the world where we are talking about reducing the carbon emission reducing the carbon dioxide emission in the environment because carbon dioxide is not only a pollutant but it's also the major villain in the global warming context. Apart from this advantage of nuclear technology, our mind specially strikes into the disadvantage of nuclear power, having a nuclear power. For that, Whenever we say about the disadvantage of nuclear power, our mind will go up to the level of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We see the people of Japan still suffering because of the atomic blast, right? And if you see today in the perspective of all the other nuclear disasters that have taken place all around in the world, till date people are still suffering. But why? What's this, what is the reason behind which today, in fact, till today, people are still suffering because of all this nuclear energy? The main reason is because of the generation of radiations. The nuclear fuel that we use, like uranium, thorium, all these are highly radioactive and they generate ionizing as well as non-ionizing radiations. All these radiations especially coming to the point of ionizing radiations, they have high frequency, they are having very high amount of energy. This ionizing radiations are having the capability to enter into our body and thereby they can cause mutation by which it can lead to cancer. 
Coming to the point of non-ionizing radiation, although they have comparatively less amount of energy compared to ionizing radiation, but still their effects are also not negligible. They can create several skin related disorder, problems related to eyes and whatnot. So you see the effects of nuclear energy, the effects of nuclear power are tremendous. We shouldn't ignore the fact for that definitely presence of nuclear power plant is important considering the fact in order to reduce the carbon emission into the environment but we should also be very careful during its construction so that no accidents happen so that no any kind of leakage happens a proper checking a proper maintenance is of utmost requirement i hope in this session you have got the instances be both the advantage as well as ad these advantages related to Brahmastra of today's context. If you have liked the video, if you have found the video to be beneficial, you can like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. Towards the end of today's session, I have a question for you all. I think you all have an idea that India is having a reservoir, a global reservoir of 25% of thorium. Can you tell me the name of this end where thorium is present? If you know the answer, you can definitely comment down in the comment box. And if you want any kind of assistance for your civil service preparation, you can visit our website www.acsindiais.com. Several courses are present there. You can check on the courses that are available. And if you like it, you can attend our webinars and several seminars as well. And if you insist to take any help, you can definitely register in it. Thank you, everyone.